Hey guys, so today I thought I'd do an overview of the Glock 19 by Umarex or Elite Force. So this is the box it comes in. And in the box, you're going to get the pistol itself, a registration or warranty card, two of them actually, and an instruction manual that's actually pretty detailed. So the pistol itself is the Glock 19, which is the compact version of the Glock 17, which is also sold by Elite Force. Uh, it's manufactured by Stark Arms, which is also known as VFC. You might know them as that. Externally, it's seven and three quarter inches long and four and three quarter inches tall. The only plastic is the lower frame, which is a very good nylon polymer, the trigger, and the orange tip flash hider. The slide is metal. It has a very nice matte finish to it, almost like anodized aluminum. And the magazine, which is a green gas magazine, holds 19 shots, has that same good finish on it as well. The only safety is the integral trigger safety. There's no actual frame safety anywhere. So if you pull the trigger, it can't fire unless you get a full firing grip on the trigger like so, and then it fires. The frame itself has the Gen 3 style with a Gen 3 magazine release, finger grooves like so, which actually fit my hands, which are medium to large size very well, uh, stippling, non-removable back strap, and ambidextrous thumb rests here and here. Magazine release and the slide lock, they're not ambidextrous, but the slide lock is spring-loaded like so. It will return to the down position, which makes power striking the gun on a full uh, magazine very easy. Just charge that for a minute. There are Glock trademarks on the slide here. It's in focus. Slide here. Grip here. Right frame here. Firing chamber. And on the bottom of the magazine as well. It has standard Glock sights like so. I find them fine, but you might not. I know a lot of people don't like normal Glock sights. The magazine itself holds 19 BBs. It has the same matte finish, like I said before, as the slide. To fill it with gas, you actually have to pull down the follower tab here, like so. Pull the base plate off, and you have a fill valve right there. And then you can just replace that, like so. The gun will also accept WeTech magazines, the Glock 17 mag and the Glock 19 magazine. Just remember that the 17 magazine will stick out about that far because it's a longer magazine, and the 19 magazines will be flush fitting, very normal. These magazines are $45 if you want spares. Uh, I find I'm pro I would probably buy WeTech magazines, they work fine, but if you want the licensed Glock trademark, then you can go for it. Internally, if you want to disassemble this uh, airsoft gun, first uh, uh, take the magazine out, charge the gun once so your trigger's in the forward position, which means your hammer's cocked, and then pull on the two uh, disassembly levers here, and the slide should come right off like so. You have a single stage captive, which is very a nice feature, recoil spring that can come out like this, like so, very easy to, to disassemble. And then you have a full metal, let's see if it'll come out, a full metal outer barrel, oh, that's inner barrel actually, but you have a full metal outer and inner barrels, like so. If I could show you how that goes together very quickly, inner barrel goes in like this, like so goes inside the slide, and the recoil spring goes on top. Again, just to show you, the hop-up dial is right there. Hammer is captive. It's inside the lower frame. There's no external hammer, like 1911, for example. Nozzle spring, I actually thought it's pretty weak, but it works fine. It removes when you need to disassemble it, and it works fine. Put the slide back on. All you have to do is realign the, realign it, uh, the slide with the rails on the frame. Pull it all the way back. Make sure nothing is pinched. And then you can actually... Just cycle it and it will, go, and it will be attached just fine. Uh, performance, out of the box, the muzzle velocity is between 390 and 330 feet per second. I used a 0.25 gram BB, so you may want to add a few feet per second if you're using 0.2 gram BBs. Uh, I, would be, I was able to get accurate shots out to 100 feet with about a one foot group with this pistol. And muzzle climb is very, is very low and it's easy to get follow up shots. Overall, it's a really realistic sidearm. The MSRP on these is $170. Uh, make sure to check your local store and your favorite retailer if you want to pick one up. And uh, happy airsofting. Thanks for watching.